St. John has been busy doing what some of us find to be a chore during the Christmas season. He's been writing letters. Letters to children, letters to fathers, letters to young men. His letters are quite a bit different from some of the Christmas letters we may have received from friends and relatives. St. John's letters spoke about faith, doing the will of his father, avoiding the allurements that everyday life dandles before our eyes, bright shining allurements. Instead, John urged those he was writing to to stay focused on the teachings and love of God. You know, St. Augustine compared those who love the world more than the world's maker. He said they're like brides who love the ring more than the groom. John's letters writing got me thinking about what kind of letter would we be writing to others this time of year and what kind of letters we might receive that would be inspirational. But maybe you like receiving letters that tell you about people's trips, the academic achievements of their children, spouses who ran and completed a half marathon. Fortunately, those of us who have been celebrating Christmas, the days leading up to and following, have been getting some wonderful letters about God, who steep, stooped rather down to become one of us. And today we heard about Anna, and how she spent all those years in the temple in prayer, waiting and waiting, and her waiting was fulfilled. I read a homily written by someone who spent lots of time in airports. He said, some of the larger ones have all the amenities you could possibly want. But he said, they don't have fresh air. Casinos are somewhat similar, bright lights, lots of movements, noise and distraction. They too lack fresh air, exposure to the outside, nor do they have any clocks on the wall. These can be enjoyable environments, but they're not life-giving. What Anna was seeking and found in the temple that day was life-giving. The child Jesus, born in the manger, presented at the temple, was giving life to Anna. And she was able to breathe it in. And that day in the temple, Anna gave thanks and spoke about the child. Well, you and I are being asked to do the same today. Let as we write or will write, will hopefully give thanks and speak about Jesus because the work of the Incarnation must go forward. It was St. Augustine who said that we incarnate Christ, blessed, broken, distributed, a means of grace and a vehicle of charity. He is this and more, and hopefully any letter writing we may do in the future will say as much.